Okay, this is my friend's DNA, the same video, the fr same friend I have in the other video. Okay, and i just like to show you, this is a, a study from GEDmatch, or they match their DNA up with um, my friend, or anyone basically on GEDmatch that submits their DNA, and they match it up with um, archaic DNA from uh, uh, what they found, cavemen, things you know, people they've excavated. Anyway, so as you can see, I'll show you the top. It's a really long list, so I have to scroll down. I might have to do two videos. But, okay, so you can see um, here we have Altai Siberia and Denosova Siberia from 50,000 years ago and 30,000 years ago. And those are two cavemen that were found there. I believe one is Denisovian man or something. And then you have an Eskimo from 4,000 years ago. Uh, another Malta, Siberia. Labrana, Spain, 7,000 years ago. Uh, and you have, you could see, Stuttgart, Motola, Sweden. Clovis, Montana is some... Um, it's a Native American baby that they excavated. And um, as you go down the list, there's a few from the UK, two from Hingston. Uh, 1.3, I guess that will be like, wait, hold up. 1.3, I have to check, is that 1,000 or 1 million years? Well, no, I guess not 1 million. But, um... Yeah, so uh, you have all these places, Ashfada, 58 Sweden, Hingston, UK, Hungary, Gokem, Sweden, uh, Russia, Sweden, Russia, and the last one is Rise, fifth, Rise 552 Russia. And it's interesting because you have all these rise. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, and one is Sweden. Actually, two, three are Sweden. One is Russia. One is Hungary. No, two are Russia. And one is Hungary. But uh, I'm not sure what that rise person or who that is. Maybe they're found in a similar place, similar area. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you, show you some of the ones that he got strong. I think the way this works is that the solid orange line means there's a stronger match to this, these, the archaic DNA that was found in these people that were excavated. Uh, he has a really strong match for LBK Stuttgart, Germany from 7,000 years ago. Let's see if. You see, it's like almost a solid orange line. I mean, I don't know if it's maybe just a little bit, but it's still... And then Motala, Sweden, which is a little stronger than the other ones. It's still kind of sketchy, Motala. Um, the top two, he has like tiny bits of um, those orange dashes with Denisovian man, and I guess Altai is the Neanderthal man. Um, I'm not definite, so I can't say for sure, but... And then you have Luxembourg, if you go down to num... Uh, go down a bit. Uh, and Laskbor Luxembourg from 8,000 years ago, they found someone that was around 8,000 years ago, and he has a strong orange line with that and what I found interesting is but there's a few people and that are I guess Caucasian or white or whatever you want to call it and um, they also had a strong orange line with this Clovis Montana Native American baby and that's from 12,000 almost yeah about a little over 12,000 years ago and then those four, the those four I just showed you, 
LBK, Motala, Sweden, no, not really as much Motala, Sweden, but half, half, sort of half. But, um, Loxburg, Loxingburg and Clovis, Montana have stronger matches. And then if you go down a little bit over here, he also has a strong match with this, I don't know what the F999 numbers are, but, um, uh, the the um, BR2 Hungary three from 3,000 years ago, there's a super strong um, match there. I mean, if there's anything, those would be the strongest matches. I mean, I don't know how much is left in his DNA, but you can see that. And Yust Isham Siberia from 45,000 years ago. And the there's an orange line in there, there also, and it's almost solid, like the one in Hungary. If you go across over there. And, um, let's see. NE1 Hungary is also, he has a few for Hungary. That's pretty strong. I mean, you know, I can't say that he has a lot of it left. But, you know, if anything, these would be the strongest matches. Uh, and also, which, I don't know if it surprised me or not, but he does have also Rise 98 Sweden from almost 4,000 years ago. The line is pretty solid. You go across there. Mm. So there's Hungary, and then there's some below that. I can't get the others. There's even more archaic DNA matches, but I can't get to them because I have to scroll on my computer. <laughs> and I can't do both things at the same time, hold my phone and scroll. So, yeah, I'll show you the others in another video. But this is just a start. The other list, how many? One, two, three, four, five. Russia, Sweden, and Hungary. The other last five are kind of sketchy. I mean, there's definitely, you know, he has, there's something there, but they're not as solid as these other lines, you know, if you look at them. And then you go up over here. And you go up. Especially the one with Stuttgart. That's pretty strong. But even the one with Hungary and Siberia from 45,000, I would imagine the Siberia, this is, there's two, one in Altai, Siberia from 50,000 years ago, and one from Ust Ishim, 45,000 years ago, and those... I would think, I can't say definitely because I have to look look it up, but I think those would be Neanderthal men, which I guess would make sense. I mean, it could be just a little bit left over in this person's DNA, my friend, but, you know, I, I'm assuming the way you read this study is that the solid orange lines are um, the one they have the most of, of course, unless um, it's the opposite. Uh, okay, so this is for the archaic DNA. Feel free to follow, subscribe, um, and just check out my other videos when I post them. And I should be posting the rest of this study from the archaic DNA very soon. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.